Hello everyone, I'm Hem Remy. I'm the PhD student at the University of South Carolina. Today I would like to present our paper, SQL Milli, Approximating SAR Imaging on Mobile Millimeter Wave Devices. Before we talk about details about the paper, let's talk about the millimeter wave image. Because of the millimeter wave image, we can detect the defective pipes, wires, etc. beyond the wall without destroying the wall. We can even detect the defective package in without opening the package itself. All of us might have seen this in a North American airport where they use a millimeter wave technology to image any object here inside. All of these are possible because of the small wavelength property of millimeter wave. Our question is, can you bring these functions to the commodity 5G smartphones that have a millimeter wave technology? This is where our paper is focused, where we like to think if we can pull out our smartphone scroll over some object of interest and it somehow can show us what object is inside. To explain more precisely, let's compare our system with the vision-based camera. We can see if the object is not occluded, the vision-based camera and the SQL milli produces the similar set. However, if the object is hidden inside the cloth, then the vision camera fails to reveal what object it is. While the SQL Mili can easily produce the 2D shape and we can guess what kind of object it is, as you can see in the right bottom figure. We need to solve few challenges before we achieve that. The first one is handheld imaging, where we have a nonlinear motions, non-uniform sampling, and multiple objects in the same. The second challenge is specularity of the millimeter wave and the weak reflectivity of the object where the transmitted signal strikes the object at a certain angle and does not reflect back to the antenna. And we will we'll be missing lots of surfaces from the object in the millimeter wave. This is where we design our system to solve all the challenges. In the left side, we first apply the nonlinear motion compensation to compensate for the nonlinear motion. And then we, pl we apply the compensation technique to recover the missing samples. And after that, we segment each object if there are multiple present in the millimeter wave. We, after that, we generate the millimeter wave and supply that to the trained generator and discriminator, where it produces the high quality 2D shape. It supplies this 2D shape to the quantifier and the classifier to predict 3D features and the object class. So in total, we start with the reflected signals and the SQL aperture locations, and finally achieve 2D object shape, 3D features, and class. To solve handheld imaging challenge, we use a multiple receiver antenna to find the nearest grid locations to compensate for nonlinear motion. We use a standard compensation technique to recover the missing samples after motion compensation is applied. As you can see in the figure, before improvement, we cannot even recognize what kind of object it is, while after the improvement, we can guess it's a scissors. We use a density-based clustering method to segment each object if we have a multiple object in the aperture. Another challenge to solve is the specularity of millimeter wave and the weak reflectivity of the object. This happens because the object surface acts like a mirror and the transmitted signal bounces off an angle and will not come back to the receiver, as we see in the object P. And the top figures shows different objects with the corresponding millimeter wave where we are missing most of the surfaces. To solve this challenge, we use a machine learning technique where we pass the low resolution millimeter wave image with corresponding ground truth to the conditional generative adversarial networks which launched from a thousand samples during training to produce the shape as you see in the right side, the improving shape. After the training is done, we only need a generator that is trained and the low resolution millimeter wave 3D image to produce the high quality 2D shape, which is human perceptible. We use a generator and discriminator to improve 2D shape and use a classifier and the quantifier and define on top of that to predict the 3D features. To implement this system, 
we first ask the volunteer to squiggle the phone to collect the pose data. We then collect the ideal millimeter wave data from the TI millimeter wave radar. We now apply the pose on these ideal millimeter wave data to obtain the SQL millimeter wave data. At the same time, we collect the ground truth 2D shapes by using the co-located AR camera. To evaluate our system, we use a multiple partially and fully occluded objects. As you see in the partially occluded pistol, the SAR, traditional SAR technique will not be able to produce the high quality image, while the SQL milli is able to produce the high quality shape, which is human perceptible. This holds true even for the fully occluded pistol, as you see in the middle row. We also tested for the scissors, and this still holds true, and we can see the recover shape. Finally, to summarize, the SQL milli brings the high resolution through obstruction imaging into cheap ubiquitous mobile devices. SQL milli improves the shape to make it human perceptible using machine learning techniques. Please feel free to check out our paper for more design and results. Thank you.